Are you looking to level up your miniature painting? If so, join me after this. Recently, I have really leveled up my miniature painting by attending a class by Gorilla with a brush. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what sort of techniques I learned and how you can get involved in those classes as well. Now, Skin and Flesh Tones has been a bit of a challenge for me for as long as I can remember. And I only got really got back into painting again after a very long break about four years ago. The first miniature that I painted, and I'll pop it up on the screen shortly for you, was a an elf witch. And basically the skin that I did on it looked like melted cheese. I then did one of the succubuses from Reaper miniatures, which I'll also show. There is a bit of nudity, so I'll try and censor that. And it just looked even, even worse. So when things aren't quite going to plan, there's a few resources you can go to. Now, I have been checking out some painting videos on Painting Flesh. I have been getting advice from other painters. And over the years, I do consider that I have improved. I mean, I did a couple of Joker busts. And I even moved out of my comfort zone and started avoiding the, all the dead characters that I was painting. So I was actually trying to paint something. And I've tried a few different systems, but nothing really quite feels right. And like I say, there's a lot of miniature painters out there on Instagram and Twitter. And you just feel like you'd love to be able to do some of the work that they're able to do. Or at least paint at a much higher level. So I'm going to quickly show you what I did in the class I attended with Gorilla with a Brush, Alan O'Brien. Now, if you're a regular subscriber to the channel, you'll know that I have actually interviewed Alan in the past. And I'll pop the video for that up here for you. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out now because Alan's work, absolutely phenomenal. Now, some of the stuff that he's been doing recently just looks way, way, way out of my league. And an opportunity came up where Alan has been running some classes. They tend to be on Saturdays, which is good for most people. Um, normally work at around about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is about 7, 8 p.m. in the UK and 8 p.m. in Europe. So these classes are kind of friendly for, the, for across the Atlantic as well. But in the meantime, I'm going to very quickly bring up on the screen what I've been working on. And that is my Space Marine. So I have a Space Marine bust. His head has just fallen off. There's a reason for that. And I've had this for a couple of months now, and I've been putting off painting it purely because of all the flesh and the fact that I want to do a really good job of it. Like I say, I've seen this particular bus being painted before and looks absolutely fantastic. And the last thing I wanted was to have something that would just look amateurish or comical. Now, this was actually my practice head from yesterday. Once I have a little bit more confidence, I'm actually going to be going on ahead with this head. But going back to the class, the class is excellently presented. Alan has quite a lot of experience in doing painting classes and quite a lot of experience working with Zoom as well. Now, there were a few things I was extremely worried about. So once again, going back to my model, certain things like um, blemishes on the skin, so moles and even tattoos. Now, I will admit, I didn't actually want to do a tattoo at all on this, but and I was trying to skip that section. However, I think people were putting about 20, 30 minutes into the tattoos. So I decided to just put a couple of weird lines with curves on the end anyway. I'm not very confident in my freehand skills. So I'm really happy with how everything just turned out. And it's something that, even though to me originally this was a practice piece, it's something that I am actually proud of as well. So just really over the moon with it. So again, going back to the classes themselves, um, like I say, Alan does get um, some initial feedback and people's expectations at the beginning of the class. Um, he does a lot of preparation beforehand, so he has models already painted up, models ready to display on screen, as well as some slideshows ex explaining the theory and some of the points that he does. He also provides you with uh, a list of recommended reading, which I should be receiving a delivery literally any time now. So although it is a book, so it might just fit through the letterbox, who knows. Um, and at the end of the session as well, he asks what people are feeling at the end of it as well. So um, have you felt like you have made enough progress? Have you learned what you expected? Is there anything more? Is there anything that's too much? Is any of it been a bit tricky? He also paces a lesson for everyone. Tend to work in very, very small groups. I think there was seven other people, including myself, who attended the painting class yesterday. 
Now the classes do take some time, so it is recommended that if you are to take the class, make sure you've booked some time out for yourself so that you've got no distract distractions, you've got everything ready. Um, I mean, the class yesterday exceeded three hours, which for the amount of money that I paid for it is, it's worth every penny. How I felt after the class? Well, to be honest with you, the feeling was just absolutely sublime. I was buzzing. I think I finished the class around about half past 10. And first thing I was doing was basically taking photographs of what I worked on, uh, posting on Twitter, sending it to my family, sending it to a few of my friends as well, just for their feedback. I was just really, really proud of what I've achieved. And then I ended up not going to sleep until 1 a.m. pretty much because um, I was talking to other students in the class, seeing what they were working on, as well as speaking to Alan and quite a few people on Twitter as well. So it's been well worth it. Um, just to give an idea of price, it came to $25, which, like I say, for three hours of learning, absolutely fantastic. Um, the confidence boost that I've had as well just makes me want to go back and redo some things like the Joker busts I've done in the past. Um, $25 does translate into around about £21 if you're in the UK. Not too sure about how much that'll be in euros. Um, but Alan is doing these courses, these classes quite often. I think he has a free handing class that's coming up and they work on a rotation as well. I know there's a few people who were quite disappointed to have missed out on the flesh class, but it's definitely the one that I have benefited a hell of a lot from. Um, like I say, I have actually attended this glazing class as well, but I would like to do the colour theory. I've got a feeling I'll probably be doing at least one of Alan's classes a month uh, over this year, just to basically try and bring my own skills up. And what I'll be doing as well is I'll be doing some showcases of some of the work that I've been doing, and I will tag Alan in to let him know that I have actually, I'm actually putting into practice something that I have learned in one of his classes. So that's enough for me today from babbling on. If you are interested in one of Gorilla with a Brush's classes, definitely check out his website, gorillawithabrush.com. Also check out his Twitter page. I'll be linking all the details below. And by all means, just jump in. Um, these classes do go, go quite quickly. Um, if you follow him on Twitter, he will mention if a, if a slot comes up or anything. Um, but it's well, well worth it. And some of the best money that I've actually spent in this hobby was spent last night so first of all thank you ever so much Alan. really really appreciate you giving the time to teach us and also the amount of work that you do inspiring us and being so god awfully humble about it as well um if you have liked this video please remember to hit the thumbs up sign if you didn't like it i don't mind hit the thumbs down sign as well if you want to got any feedback for me please put it in the comments below remember any sort of engagement i really appreciate it does help the channel if you really really want to help the channel um, you might want to consider subscribing and you can find out about what sort of new videos I'll be doing in the future. So in the meantime, stay safe and take care.